Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. Today I present you the complete guide on how to create custom chip bags with Canva. First, we're going to talk about the equipment and supplies needed for this project. To print the chip bags, we're going to need a color printer, inject or laser. Thin photo paper. I am using Koala 30 pounds inject glossy photo paper. This is a high quality photo paper. It comes in glossy and matte. Pick the one of your liking. Just make sure you pick a thin photo paper. Now, if you wish to crimp the bag openings, you are going to need a paper crimper, scissors or pinking shears, and a hot glue gun. In the description down below, I will leave the links of all the supplies and programs used in this tutorial. I'm going to start working with the design. For this, I'm going to be using the free online graphic design program, Canva. But before I start with the tutorial, I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Let's start. Go to canva.com Click on custom size. Here we're going to change it to inches. Now type 11 by 8.5. This is letter size. Then click on create design. Here is the letter size Canva. Now we're going to start creating the template. I have a free blank template in my blog. If you wish to use it, visit me on daisymultifacetica.com and download it. I'm going to leave you the link in the video description down below. Then come back to the tutorial and skip to the next step. But if you wish to learn how to create your own template, stay here. I will teach you how to create it. Go to Element. Insert a square, place it on top of the Canva, and resize it to 1 by 11 inches. You will see the measurements on the little black rectangle below the shape. Now select the rectangle, right click, copy, paste, and place it on the bottom. Now insert another square. Resize this one to 0 0.4 by 6.5 inches. Right click, copy, paste, place it on the right side and Resize it to 2 by 6.5 inches. Select it and change color. Select it again. Copy. Paste. Place it on the right side and resize it to 0 0.8 by 6.5. Select it and change color. Now select the one that measures 2 inches, copy, paste and place it on the right side. Right now we are just creating the blank template to add pictures and text when we finish. Also you can save it to reuse it for future projects. Resize this one to four and a half by six and a half inches. Copy the one that measures 0 0.8 and place it on the right side. 
The same we're going to do with the one that measures two inches. Copy and place it at the end. Now we already have the template and it's ready for us to add pictures and text. Before adding pictures, I will teach you how to download high quality images from Google, how to create your own barcode or QR code, and how to download the free nutrition facts from my blog. Go to Google, type the name of the image you wish to use. After the name, type PNG HD for high definition images. Then click on images and pick the one of your liking. To check if the image has high resolution, check the number on the lower left corner. If the number is above 1080, it means it's a good quality image. Select it, right click, and save it on a folder that is easy for you to access. Now, let's move to the next step. Remember to check the description down below. I'm going to leave all the links of the sources used in this tutorial. Go to the barcode generator site, type your business link. This one can be your website, your Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, etc. Like this, you may promote your business on every chip bag. Here, select either a standard code or QR code. I will select a standard code. Type your link and click on create code. You will see the code on the right side. Click on download and ready. Do the same if you wish to create a QR code. Select QR code, type your link, click on create code and ready. Now let's go to my blog to download the nutrition facts. Go to daisymultifacetica.com, click on free SVG PNG, scroll down, and here you will see the chip bag templates and nutrition facts. I have them in English and Spanish. Click the one of your needs and it will take you to this page. Click on the picture, then download the one of your choice. Now let's go to Canva and we will start uploading these images to the Canva gallery. Go to Upload, click on Upload Media, select the folder where you saved your images, select the image, barcode and nutrition facts and insert. Now they are all in the Canva gallery. Let's start inserting the images to create the chip bag. There are two ways to design the chip bag. The first is using a big image all over the page. And the other one is by adding individual images. I will teach you both ways, but I will start with the one with individual images. I will insert this Moana picture. Just click on it and resize image should not be bigger than this rectangle. Now I will insert the rest of the images.
after accommodating the images, we're going to add text. To add text, click on the T, select any of the three sizes, and start typing. To change the font, click up here and select the font of your choice. I am using Mary Kate font. To change the color, select the text, click on the color A up here, and you can pick any of these colors or you may blend your own. I'm going to add more text on the right bar. Now that we already have all the images and information needed, we're going to remove the gray template. I'm going to remove all the bars, but I'm going to leave the one on top and bottom. Before saving, we're going to add color and pattern to those bars. Add a color that combines with the image. Now that already has color, I'm going to add some flowers. I'm going to copy this one, resize it, right click, copy, and paste. I'm going to place like 10 flowers on top. When finished, select the bar with the flowers on top, right click, copy, paste and place it on the bottom. You may save it like this or you may add background. Go to background and select the background of your choice. I'm going to add a water background to this one. It looks dark, but we may regulate the transparency up here. I added a lot of transparency, but it still looks beautiful. I like it. This one is ready to be saved and printed. But before, I will show you really quick how to make one using a bigger image. I'm going to add another page and I'm going to go to upload and this time I'm going to be using my template. If you wish to use my template, I invite you to visit my blog. I'm going to leave you the link in the video description down below. Go to the gallery and select the picture that you are going to be using. Stretch it all the way to fit the letter size page. Also, if you wish, you can leave the bars on the top and bottom. Now, select the picture and send it to the back. This so we can align the information, barcode, and nutrition facts. Same process as we did with the first design. When finished, we're going to remove the template. Just add color and pattern to the bars on top and bottom and ready. Here is the design ready to be saved or printed. First, I will show you how to save it. Go to download, 
If you wish to save it as an image, select PNG. But if you wish to save it as a document, select PDF standard. And click on download. Now you already have it on your computer. You can print it whenever you need. If you wish to print straight from here, go to download, select PDF print and click on download. Open the file. As you can see, here are the two designs that we created. Click on print. Select the printer that you are going to use. Click on more settings. Then click on print using system dialog. Here select the printer you are using. Then click on preferences. Here is very important. If you are using photo paper, select photo printing. On media type, if you are using glossy photo paper, select glossy photo paper. If you are using matte, select matte photo paper. On print quality, select high. On printer paper size, select letter size. If you wish, you can click on preview before printing and then click OK. Now click on print. And here is the preview of how it's going to print. If everything looks OK, click on Start Printing. I am using a Canon Pixma Mega Tank and Koala Inject glossy photo paper. Now it's time to assemble the chip bags. For this process I will be using a hot glue gun, a paper crimper and pinking shears. Oh, 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 oh,
now you already know how to make your own custom chip bags. I hope you enjoyed this complete guide on how to make custom chip bags with Canva. And please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.